when you talk about the effort, that whether you have doubts or whether there's uncertainty or whether there's fear or not, that action is the only thing that can combat a fear. Action's the only thing that can combat doubt. Action's the only thing that can uh, affect uncertainty. And so what most people do is they become paralyzed in those situations. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what I should do, so I do nothing. What's also true is that when you have a lot of different things to do, you can tend to do nothing. You know, we've all had those days where we woke up and there was so much stuff to do that we didn't do anything. Yeah. And sometimes Brown. there's those times where you feel like I don't really have much to do and you get some stuff done. But when you have so much to do and so many different things going on that you end up doing absolutely nothing. Like I've been in that paralyzing, you know, position where you're like, man, I gotta do this, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done. Well, I'm gonna take a nap. And so it's just this idea of just doing something. You know, just doing one thing that's productive today. Um, so for me, you know, that looks very different day to day. Right now it's very different during this crisis that we're in. Um, it's a lot of reactive stuff of, you know, changing scripts and reaching out to agents to role play through those scripts and just reaching out to agents to make sure they're doing okay and asking them how that can help. But I think that there's reactive and proactive things that I'm doing as well. Um, but when it comes to like a day to day, I mean, the only thing that you can control is the things that you can control. A lot of what people try to do is they try to control the things that they can't control. Right. And that's where the frustration, that's where the depression, that's where the anxiety, because yeah. they're so focused on the things that are out of their control, instead of just focusing on like, what can I do today <laughs> right. to get better? And then just go do that and, and understand that if you focus on the things that you can control, then all the other stuff that you can't control will fall into place. And most people just never get there mentally. You feel like there's so much piled up that you can't even start to chip away. But the reality is progress one day at a time, progress one step at a time, slow progress is still progress. It's this idea of just do something. Just every single day, do something that's moving you in the right direction. Do something that's moving you towards your goal. And when you think you've got everything to do, just starting by doing something and then building upon that something and right. then building upon that something. And next thing you know, you turn around and you've done everything. Discipline is the key to success. Like I love when people are, you know, people ask me, yeah, how do you stay so motivated? I seem so motivated all the time. I'm like I'm not, I am not. Um, it's not about motivation, it's about discipline. It's about that do it anyway mentality that we talked about in the Q&A two days ago, um, that when you don't feel like it, when, uh, when you don't wanna do it, doing it anyway, like doing the things that you know you're supposed to do because those are the things that are gonna get you moving in the right direction towards your goals. And so with so much out there right now that we can't control, like we can't control whether the government says that we can go certain places, we can't control, you know, whether our family is affected or not to some degree. Um, there's so much that we can't control that we have to double and triple down on the things that we can, which all boil down to your effort. Like what is something that you can do? Like if you feel like you're in that paralyzed state, like what is one thing that you could do today that would move the ball forward? And that one thing for some people maybe read a book or maybe like watch a podcast or a blog or you know, watch incredible content like this that we're putting out. Um, but for other people, it may be like, well, I could call on my existing clients and just check on them and see how they're doing. Uh, there's always things that you can do and you have to focus on those things, especially when it becomes uncertain. And a lot of people are talking about micro actions these yeah. days and, yeah, yeah. and the different books we're reading. And we had Dan Walshman was talking about that, mm -hmm. which was which was really incredible. And but, but a lot of people get that paralysis of analysis. Yeah. I can literally remember being in a sales job and knowing I have to sell mm -hmm. or I will not be able to pay this bill yeah. for my family. And I remember after lunch, sitting in a parking lot and taking a two hour nap. Mm -hmm. I've done that before. It's, it's, how could that even, I wasn't applying anything. Mm -hmm. I wasn't earning the money that I had to have, like it's, yeah. it's insanity. Mm -hmm. And, and what I just expected, like, and, and a lot of times you hear this, especially down here in the South, people go, I'm waiting, 
I'm waiting on God, or I've prayed about that, and and whatever. Mm-hmm. And and I I, I just want to look at him. Like, when's when's the last time you saw him move a parked car? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. like you may have all the head knowledge in the world that your suburban sitting outside can get you home today. Mm-hmm. I promise you, if you didn't put gas in it, mm-hmm. if you didn't have keys, mm-hmm. if you didn't stick them in the ignition and turn it on, your working knowledge of the car mm-hmm. would never translate into you getting to your house today. Yeah. And to your point, there are, there are a lot of people out there that they are in a situation right now where they feel like they are waiting on God. And I would just tell you that what if God's waiting on you? And what if there's two sides to the coin and that if you take one step, maybe the next step will be laid out in front of you. And then if you take another step, maybe the next step will seem more clear. Mm -hmm. And if you take another step, then all of a sudden you start to see a path down the road. But until you take that first step, until you show the initiative and you put in the effort and you start putting in action, why would you expect anything to just happen? Because I think it's a Tony Robbins quote. Um, where he says, like, you know, the most successful people are the ones that can operate in the most uncertainty. And for me, that's been a big part of why I think I'm an owner of this company is because there were different times and different seasons throughout my career in selling where there was a lot of uncertainty, but I just kept doing exactly what I was doing every single day and pretending like it didn't even exist. It's almost like I had to put a mental block in place. And so being able to operate in uncertainty is one of those things that makes you indispensable as an employee, as a business partner, um, because there's like, we're facing one of the biggest ones of our lifetime right now, but there's gonna be more uncertain times in the future. Like when we get past this, things are gonna happen, obstacles are gonna pop up that were completely unexpected. And so if you can become a person that can just name that uncertainty and then not bottle it up, but just block it from controlling your mind, and go back to, okay, had that not happened, what are the things that I would do today and just do those things anyways, are going to, again, separate the ordinary from extraordinary, the successful from the good to great, you know, all that kind of cliche stuff. But it, it, it's, it's very true that the greatest entrepreneurs, the most successful people in the world, every single one of them operated at a high level during very uncertain times. And if you know that to be true, and if you just believe that that is truth, then I want to be like those guys. Like I want to operate like that woman. Like I, I want to do the things that successful people are doing. And if that's just one of those things, and it just has to be something that I adopt.